Good morning everyone, they're being used together but I would like you to have, I'm going to use what Wesson used and they had Indian ink. Now, and also a peg like this. Now I haven't got Indian ink but hot. Now this paper here, the one I've done for you first of all, we'll be doing the same one. It's done on bucking food and it, it, it is light, whiter and lighter than this next paper I'm going to use, which is a yellowy cast. And you see it there, and that's been painted on. It has a creamy cast, but it's a lovely paper. And it's Saunders, that, this one. I'm going to use Saunders, but it's quite good to use bucking food, which that is. And it, and to do that, well, I can do it like this, see. And move upwards like that. And down a bit like that. And with this side here, I can bring that out, bring it back, and then take it over there. So that line here, this, this area of foreground here, is not level like that one. It's, it's giving it, I should think, more character. Now, on top of that, we've put these two little, what you call, cottages here. One there, and the little one behind here. If it's further back, it would be higher up there a bit. Like that. Now, we're putting a small tree here. Another small tree here. This is what I've done, not him. And the large tree here. And there's your large tree coming to there. And just here, a few small trees across there. And that's, that's what we're doing. This here, we can have a bit of white. But what you can do is, when you've done it, if you rub it a little bit, you paint, you'll get that cut white back, which we'll do. Now the first thing we, he always did was the sky and the foreground. Now I'll just put a shade across here, where he would put a shade. So all we're going to do is the sky and this foreground part. Okay, so we, we, for the foreground, I told you we needed raw sienna or yellow ochre will do. Now this paintbrush, you don't need to worry about a paintbrush. This, a graduate, a daily round, it was £3.50. That would be mm, round about, we'll say $3.50 on, e, on eBay. So you can't say that's a dear brush, it's the cheap brush and it's made of a, like pony, a pony, what would you call fur, or her, her isn't it, pony her, which will make it a little bit stiffer than a, a very soft, one of these soft mop brushes made of uh, squirrel. Now I like, this is worn down a lot, which is, this makes it easier, when it's worn down like that, you can use it for your trees, it'll give it, give them nice shapes, or this being a bit stiffer, it'll also give you nice shapes, so let's, this is how we'll begin. Now I get, we'll make it so easy, well I agree, but not, now we're going to come across here, a bit more. Now, if you do get it a bit darker than you, I'm doing, it'll be quite okay. Because when we put the darkness in the top half, in the trees, this will come as a light, become lighter. Now, just do that. If you want to put a few trees, just do that. Don't do no more than that, see. That. Now, that's your lot.
Now we can let that dry. Now that's your your foreground done, your sky done, and that's the process of what Mr. Weston did. Now the next thing we'll do is put in he put in the fiddly bits. Now we'll take a little bit of burnt sienna and we'll just put this in here like that and like that. Okay. Now we'll put the water in next. Now if you want you can put a bit of water in like that. Now a bit of uh, cobalt remember that cobalt at top there. Now, wash your brush a bit. Only a bit here. There we are. Now we've got that reflection from that there. In this here, a touch lighter or darker than that what's on there. So pick up a little bit of your raw sienna and add a bit of your brown to it like that. Then just have it weak and let's just just see how it looks first of all. Now that is a bit deep, so you can put a bit of water to it, like that, and it'll level off a lot. On here. So we'll leave that just like that for now, and then we'll bring this one in the same way. Sometimes the le less you do, the better. See, like this here, watch, the, le the least you do, the better. Sometimes it's nice to have a piece or oh, see I'll put you on in here just to, just to show you what I mean. There might be a piece what's falling over on that bit over there. Like that. No. And same here, we'll have a, just a smaller one here. Like that. Just a, that's okay there. Now there's always a bit of dark lower down on the tree, isn't there? So if we put some Van Dyke and some strong paint grey or that indigo. We'll probably get this colour, see.
Now that looks just a little bit off, so we'll just put a drip that together and bring that down a bit. Just this is fine. that one especially for you so you don't need a very expensive brush an island brush is great I think for that now this is darker isn't it But I'm sure you'll improve on that. 